This week on Botched, we have a beam pole booty lift gone wrong, an Anna Nicole Smith trophy wife in the making, and a pelican neck we don't know what to do about. The review is up next. I'm Maria Menunos, and you're tuned in to After Buzz TV, the ESPN of TV talk. Now, let the buzz begin. It's a party. It's a party. With all I'm the so, lights, I'm I so love it. It's a party. I'm just so excited. <laughs> Me too. You know. This is a great episode. It really, really was. Do you guys at home think it was great? We sure do hope so because we see that you're tuned in for your favorite episode review of Botched. I'm in the studio with my lovely co-host, Maddie Pox. I am Maddie Pox. I am so excited to be back. I finally have you back now. Yes. This episode. Yeah, I did it alone last week, but I How missed you. How was it braving the botched I, challenge yeah. alone? I, it was okay. It was okay. I, I missed you. I missed you, too. <laughs> I'm so happy to see you again this yeah. week. Yeah. And you guys, I'm your girl, Carmen. As always, we are here to review your favorite show, Botched. What did you think about this week's episode? You know what? I actually like this episode better than last week's for mm-hmm. some reason. Mm-hmm. I think that um, everyone was happier a little bit with the outcome. Mm-hmm. I don't know why I felt that way. We what always do you think? get we always get two yeses and a no. Yeah, and it's not really hard to tell like who's gonna get the no. Right. Um, this week was really. Um, eye-opening to see what can happen to booties, as we saw with Jabrina. Right. She had a butt that could flip around and it was causing her discomfort and she went through a bunch of stuff with it. Mm -hmm. We also have Sammy, who is always... Wanting to get a bigger butt. Yes, the homegirl is addicted to plastic surgery, so she's going after... She wants to be um, a trophy wife. She wants to be Anna Nicole Smith. Not a bad, um, <laughs> but look, like if you're gonna go for it, go for one of the most successful ones to ever do it. Did uh, my question is, did Anna Nicole Smith actually have butt implants? I don't think she did because she, like was, she like was like a I feel like she was like naturally, she might have had her boobs done, yeah, and yeah. then she gained weight. I don't think that we were as privy to all of the changes that you could actually make. I wasn't cosmetically. Mm-hmm. With surgery back then. Like, butt implants weren't really that popular back then. Did it exist in the 90s? I don't think so. If it did, we don't know. That's the thing. I don't like, think we she had a hip. I think she naturally was curvy and she yep. had her breasts done. Yeah. Because that was a 90s thing. Everyone wanted the huge boobs. It yep. wasn't about the butt. It wasn't. Now J-Lo made the, the butt, butt popular. Yeah. <laughs> ironically enough. Yeah. The butt implants were actually first developed in 1969. See, that's what I was saying. Oh, come we, on. They it may wasn't have had a trend, it. though. You know why it wasn't a trend? Because we didn't have the internet, and everybody couldn't yeah. see everybody else getting it. That's what it was. It wasn't a thing until, you know, maybe the 2000s, like, late 2000s, with, like, Video, Some of the, the music video videos girls. and stuff like the like the video girls and because, now yeah now with Instagram because when it first started happening we were like is that is that is that real is it or, well, you know what I'm saying yeah exactly we were like we weren't too sure what was happening we just know that the butt seemed big and getting bigger and bigger and bigger <laughs> and then we have a lady named Lisa who was teased as a child about her neck. I didn't even think she had a bad neck. And she made her problems much worse with a botched yeah. facelift attempt. I, I've i never even thought about, well, maybe because I'm not a bully, but I've mm-hmm. never, like, thought about teasing someone about their neck. Like, she showed photos of when she was younger, and I thought to myself, I would never, like, look at someone and be like, you have a really big neck, I'm going to tease you. Kids so. are really evil. They can be. Um not well, all I felt, of them. I felt bad for kids her, are the she... coolest people on the planet. Actually, I want to. I want to take that back. Kids, <laughs> kids are super cool, yeah. but they can be. I really you know, mean, yeah. I yeah. Mean, I mean, most people have gotten bullied. And yes. I don't think, though, that bullying someone over their neck size is very common. People so, get bullied over everything, anything. Yeah. Well, I felt bad. Either way. I don't mean to sound insensitive. I felt really bad for her, Mm -hmm. and she's cheering up and crying Mm -hmm. about it, so. Well, we're going to get a little into her story. We're going to get more into her story a little bit later, but for now, we are going to start with, let's start with Sabrina. 
Yeah. <sighs> Sabrina is a self-professed, proclaimed, oh, man, we need Kitty here. We're missing Kitty, obviously. Jabrina. Jabrina. Isn't it Jabrina? She had um. She had a. She had, she called herself. Is it self-professed or self-proclaimed? We don't have the um, okay, source so slash she, dictionary. Okay, so she said today. Sabrina in the beginning. No, not Jabrina. The word is it? Is she? Is she a self-proclaimed being pole or self-professed? It's usually self-proclaimed. Proclaimed. Okay, self-proclaimed, thank you. Oh, yeah. right. Um, I had to think about it for a second. <laughs> self-proclaimed beanpole. She says she was really skinny and ashamed of her body growing up. Right. Um, she wanted to feel good about herself, and so she thought that a big butt would do it. Mm-hmm. So she went for big booty plants that were like five cc's a piece. But mind you, she's like a size like zero double to one. Zero, yeah. yeah, she's like, like a... But with a really cute shape, though. She wasn't like, to me... Bony and no curves. She wasn't bony at all. Like she wasn't like she was like petite, a stick, curvy, but just so so thin. Mm-hmm. Good for her. Wish I could be that thin. <laughs> you know, yes. but like she she didn't look bad. Like she's like you can tell she's naturally skinny, mm-hmm. but just these two cups put on her butt, <sighs> and you're just like, okay, that doesn't go. Five days later, and no no thighs to even build it up five days after her (laughs) she gets her booty it slips she says it slips and then she was able to do the flip thing where she could take her implant and flip it over and over and over again and i'm assuming it's because her body was so tiny Mm -hmm. that the tissue wasn't built to hold a mass of that size oh of course not right yeah, it, and obviously it's going to get worse and sag. Yes. Like they showed from the side, it basically shifted down, mm-hmm. slipped down, and then it just looked like it was like hanging off. Like it didn't have like a natural curvature from like the arch of her oh, back. Oh, no way. You know? They, yeah. I think if you're going to put that big of um, butt implants in, you mm-hmm. have to have a bigger thigh. You know? Because yeah. it's like you're so thin and there's two balls Yeah, right there and you're just... Like, whoa, it doesn't go. Have you ever looked at your butt like, I could, I would take a few more pounds back there? Um, no pun, pounds I back mean, there. I mean, I, I, I would take pounds. Weird. <laughs> I would take pounds from my jiggle. thigh and put it in my butt. I will, I, I, I definitely, <laughs> like, grab my booty like, yeah, I wish I had a little more. Yeah. like I just I, don't know if I'm brave enough to do anything to it. What I've heard, it's painful because I know people have done it. You have to lay on your stomach, I believe, afterward. Like you, of course, yeah, naturally, you don't want to sit of, on it. There's a lot of downtime. Mm-hmm. It's like getting lipo. I've never done any of that. I don't know why I know so many people with have plastic surgery. I think it's an LA thing. It's cool, but it's, it's, like, you know, difference of perspectives. They, and you opinions. have to wear the the girdle thing, mm-hmm. and with your butt, I think you have to do that too. So you're out for like a like month. Like a shaping thing, yeah, probably. and it's painful. Yeah, I can imagine. Well. She goes to try to get her botched butt, butt lift, mm-hmm. and they do something where they try to lift it up and take some skin out and sew the skin higher, and yeah. it just causes more problems. So she comes in to see our favorite two doctors, Dr. Nassif and Dr. Debreux. 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 <laughs> and my best French accent. Yeah. Um, to see if she can get her booty fixed, and they think that it's worth trying. Yeah, and um, they... they uh, so, essentially, they cut like her love handles Mm -hmm. and they kind of put that towards the butt lift Mm -hmm. and then they sort of have to uh, I can't remember if they have to do lipo but they put that fat towards lifting it. First they had to pop out the butt plant. Yeah, they get rid of it, thank God. Yeah, these are like always the craziest moments for me is like seeing the actual surgery. Like, oh, I yeah, can deal too. with, like, you the thought me, of what happens, but we cringe every week. Do you guys <laughs> cringe watching this stuff, or can you watch it with a straight face? It's rather interesting to see what they actually go through. You know, they're, like, deconstructing the body and putting everything back together. Yeah. But first, they had to suck out some sort of mystery liquid that had oh, formed so. from her butt sliding back and forth. It had, like, rubbed off a lot of tissue and caused this right. several ounces of ooze. But they had to, like, slurp out with this thing and get her butt back to normal butt. Suck Dr. out the gross material that was already put in there. Yes. And, and reshape it, lift it. Yes. Then they found um, love handle fat, which 
um, we all have. So, you know, mm-hmm. they borrowed a little bit of that. You should, like you said, put it in the booty. Looked slipped at it, it up. Yeah. Sold the lip took some skin out of the back, sewed it up. Because they weren't sure they could do it because she's so skinny. Right. Because she goes, I want to, you know, take, do the fat grafting thing. Mm-hmm. And... I would, do, I would do it, mm-hmm. you know, like mm-hmm. nothing against that. Mm-hmm. Um, they wanted to find more fat on her, mm-hmm. take that, lift the butt, mm-hmm. reshape it. Mm-hmm. Um, but she doesn't have any fat on her because she's so thin. Listen, don't get me wrong. Like, <laughs> when I have a kid, if I can't seem to snatch it back and I can afford to get it snatched back, I'm going to get it snatched back. Well, that's called the mommy makeover. The mommy makeover. That's a very popular a little thing. Something. Amongst, I would try to work for it. Uh, amongst plastic surgeons in Beverly Hills. Her friend threw a little shot at her. Like, yeah, she wants this big butt that she never wants to work for. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> She's only so big. She's only going to be able to work for so much of it. So she did what she felt like she had to do. Yeah. I wonder why people go from zero to a whole, whole lot, though. I don't know. I mean, you know, like she's, start me with like two cc's. Let me see how that fits. They just keep going. That's and they're the like, addiction, nah, start me with six. It's I like getting know. a tattoo. Once you get one, you have to it's get true. ten others. It's true. Maybe, yeah. We talk about this every week with the what ifs. Maybe <laughs> it's just like the seeing yourself transform that becomes addictive. Uh, tattoos yeah. are very addictive. Haircuts are very addictive. Do you notice that? Like, when you get your hair cut once, you kind of oh, keep yeah. wanting to go shorter there. and shorter. I've been there a million times. So maybe times. it's something like that. Yeah. Anyway, she goes in, she gets her butt fixed, and the end result still looks slightly botched to me. I'm just going to be honest. I Yeah, and I agree. In the beginning, I said, okay, it looks better, Uh huh. but... We see her dancing around a little bit, and I said, mm-mm. hmm She should just take them out. She should just take them out. But then she's not going to have any, any butt. The thing is, the skin has, like, her shape is there. Like, you can see the shape. Yeah. And it's like, oh, she's got these cute little hips, and then she has this little, like, her booty falls where it should on the side. It's right. not like it's drooping now. But then the butt lift is completely disassociated from the butt shape. So now she has, like, this booty in the middle of a booty. Did you see that? It's like her nice regular booty is here, and then the pop is, like, here, Mm -hmm. and it doesn't look like God made it. I hate to say this, but it's, like, what the Kardashians get. They get all the Mm -hmm. hip injections, and, like, they reshape their body to Mm -hmm. be, like, totally really curvy Mm -hmm. and whatnot. So it's like she almost can't perfect it unless she gets more surgery, which I don't want her to get. She doesn't need it. But it's because she um, has that figure and she's still putting this huge butt onto her (sighs) body. It just looks, it doesn't look right, right? So now she's going to have to, you know, get bigger thighs and like hips Mm -hmm. to make it look proportioned. I feel like if it wouldn't have dropped, it would have looked good yeah but like it's a like, nice fat butt but right but it dropped it dropped and it's gonna continue to <sighs> <laughs> well what, I don't I, know what, what, what we agreed is. on was that she looked better than before she, she came in way better way right. better she looks beautiful but i'm just thinking in the matter of time mm-hmm. it's gonna drop again what can she do you can't, you, can't get a fat, you can't get a fat transplant like you have to have your own body fat, huh? Like you can't oh. donate fat, can you? Uh, I don't think so. I'm asking. I just don't know. I'm just shooting darts in the dark Should we here. donate her fat? Sure. So that she can have a better butt. It's not she can like, have some of these wings. She, I got me wings. Too. <laughs> she can have those. No, but it's it's like she needs um, more fat in her thighs, I think, to support it. Mm-hmm. Because everyone who has a big butt, yeah, she needs her hips done now, and this filled in. Yeah, but filled you need in with the what? thighs. You need the thighs. But the hip is tricky because the hip is when you start to look like when you add that hip, it starts to look like a diaper a little bit. Well, it looks like the Kardashians. They all have the hip. Yeah, it looks like injections. it looks like padded panties that yeah. go all the way around. Well, she got it. I think she. It, it looks better. Um, maybe it's an angle thing. You know, yeah. Well, we'll get to that with my news and gossip later. Yes. Well, we have two more ladies to talk about this episode, but before we do, Maddie is going to give us a little shout out to our network. Okay, guys, thank you so much for being part of our 
TV Talk. Uh, we are running the ESPN of T TV Talk, sorry, on After Buzz TV. Thank you so much. I'm here on the live chat. Please join mm -hmm. and comment, ask mm -hmm. questions. Subscribe. Give us five stars. Like us. Um, yes. We're always here to listen to your opinion. Mm -hmm. And we thank you guys so much for, like, joining in and watching everything Thank you so much. Couldn't yes. have done it without you. Definitely can't. We have so many shows here, all types of TV, whatever your favorite type of TV is. I'm sure we have a review for it. So all you have to do is find your favorite channel and subscribe to it. And then you'll be privy to all of our reviews. Privy. I, privy, I, I keep yeah. using privy. words. Like, <laughs> like now I'm like second guessing my words and I don't have Kitty here to help yeah. me figure them out. Well, um, yeah, we love you yeah. guys so much. So thank thanks you. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Yeah, thanks um, for tuning in. Don't forget to tell your friends and have them subscribe so we can keep bringing you your reviews your, on your favorite shows. Moving right along. Next, we have a lady named Sammy. Sammy mm -hmm. is another woman kind of like the lady we had last the last time we were all together. She wants to fix herself so that she can become a trophy wife. She wants to attract, you know, she wants she, to be a rich <laughs> wife. And I'm not going to knock her ambitions. She wants to essentially be a 90s porn star. 90s porn star. That's what she's Very said. into Anna Nicole Smith. Very into uh, Anna Nicole Smith. I guess she's going for that Pamela Anderson look. She kind of looks like she could, like, like if she was in Vegas or if she was, like, down on the um, Hollywood walk, that she could dress up like Anna Nicole and probably get some tips. Like, <laughs> she could pull it off. Hollywood walk. You know what? She would do really well in Vegas. Vegas, right? Because I feel like in Hollywood it's done... No one wants to look at someone who, you she, know, looks like the 90s She people. favors her, though, enough yeah. to where if she wanted to go for it. She, you know, she's not bad looking. I think she's pretty, but she just needs to, like, reduce here a little bit. I think bit. so. And, but she doesn't really get it because she's like, I want a bigger butt. And well, she started off overweight. So, yeah. so she felt pretty insecure about it. Mm -hmm. And she had, first surgery was her weight loss surgery. And she right. loved it. It was, oh my goodness, this brand new world. And I've seen a lot of people have that surgery done, and I'm really, like, not mad at it. You know, a lot of times different things in your body um, affect your weight, and it becomes hard to naturally lose weight. I don't think there's anything wrong with people getting a weight loss surgery. And it takes um, discipline and work to maintain it. So we're not right. talking about something that's just going to be like a walk in the park. You have to, like, still work to maintain this body. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to knock anybody who does it. I've seen some amazing results, and I've seen it change people's lives. Yeah, like, good for her. Right. She doesn't need anything else done, though. Right. Well, well right. That's where she started. She started with the... Uh, she started with the weight loss surgery, mm -hmm. and then she goes on. She go, she wanted fake boobs, so she got her fake boobs. Right. Then she got a tummy tuck, an arm tuck, a nose job, an eyebrow revision, lip implants. She got more boobs, and yeah. she got butt implants, but her butt implants opened up and almost popped out. And killed her. And almost, she almost died. Yeah. But it didn't stop her from wanting more. I know. But you think after that... It's game over. But if you're, like, really addicted to plastic surgery, I get it. Um, She's figuring it out. It looked like it was things she should have done along the seams of her body. Because mm -hmm. it was like her boobs are pulling too much this way. So the reason why she's leaving that, losing that curvature and that, that arch that she wants in right. her back is because her boobs are weighing her down. And I don't know if she realizes that she wants to balance it out with a bigger fake butt. She's done everything. She doesn't need anything else. And I'm really happy that um, Dr. DeBro said no. we can't do anything. They said it's not. They said one out of 500 people that fix this or do what you're trying to do dies. Sometimes I think they just want to say no when they know a person has just is just on the brink of not knowing how to tell themselves no. Right. I feel With like. And then we even talked about this before we came on camera. We like we thought, oh, like she's gonna do it. She's gonna go to a different doctor. She's gonna do yeah, it. Yeah, she was like, okay, we'll see. When they told her, yeah, and we we're like, know. no. <laughs> but she says, you know, she's nicknamed myself Sprinkles because she's extra. She realizes that she's right. extra. She's like, either well, you like sprinkles it. or you don't. Yeah, yeah, she, she owns, owns it. it. Um, but I don't think that she thinks it's worth dying. I do think she's gonna get another opinion. I think that. Obviously, this just aired, so if we check back in 
in a few weeks or a month or whatever, I feel like she's going to have gone to another doctor. Because mm. once you're addicted to plastic surgery, I feel like she's going to keep doing it. I feel and like... her friend... Her friend felt the same way. The friend was like, I think it's good that she gets her butt bigger because it will match her boobs. Yeah, she said she needs to be balanced out. Her <sighs> butt did look small in proximity. Yeah, but and then the doctor said, okay, well, why don't you get a reduction? Uh-huh, and she was like, yeah, right. And she's like, this is how you, get, uh, this is how you become a trophy wife. Is she actually a porn star? I don't think so. She wanted those two doctors bad. She said they make <laughs> the goes, perfect threesome. <laughs> she goes, it's too bad that um, Dr. Nassif has a girlfriend and Dr. Mm-hmm. Debro has a wife. He's mm-hmm. been married for 20 years. Um, and she was, like, so keen on getting into, like, getting them into bed. Definitely. I was like, whoa. I wonder if, like, behind the scenes she actually asked them. We'll never for know. For something. <laughs> we'll never find out. We'll never know. That. I doubt it. I doubt there were that several happened. NDAs involved if that happened. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um, Doc says no. They say you have a nice butt. They actually give yeah. her a compliment. Say the work that you've done because the procedure she got fat transfer and implants, and normally that causes a shifting and bad shaping and all of that. But in her case, they said her butt looked really good. She should just right. really, really be satisfied with what she has. Yeah, no, it mm-hmm. did, it did look good. Mm-hmm. And the thing I thought she was gonna get um, surgery on was her mm-hmm. breasts because they I were thought, too big. I thought that she was when gonna she get that walked too. in. Mm-hmm. I said, "Whoa, like mm-hmm. those need to be a little smaller." I thought she was gonna have that too. I was like, and then she turned around. And I was like, "Well, her butt's good. Her butt's good. Yeah. Well, she got to know." No surgery for her. So we'll have to check her out. We'll have to look her up in News and Gossip. Maybe we'll find her Instagram and we'll find her. Oh, you should, And we'll see what she's had done. Yeah. Let me ask you this. How do you feel about, like, flying to Brazil or somewhere like that to get your work done? I'm not going to lie. Some of the most beautiful, most convincing work that I've seen done Seems to come from overseas. overseas. It seems like when you get it done in Hollywood, and I don't know, because the Kardashians, they don't, to me, like, I really think Kim Kardashian is a beautiful woman. And she does things to her face, and I can tell, but she never looks bad. Mm -hmm. She never looks, she never looks bad to me. Well, it's like, I mean, her butt is a different thing because we know that it's, you know, enhanced. But she, yeah, she has surgery. Her nose is done, mm -hmm. whatever. I, I feel like every time I come on this show, I, like, rat people up for getting surgery. Um, <laughs> it's but, good that okay, you know people so because so we, we need real-life examples. Well, I'm, I'm into plastic surgery. I've mm-hmm. never gotten a procedure done. I've only mm-hmm. done Botox and whatever. And I'm, mm-hmm. But I'm always interested in, you know, mm-hmm. what's going on. And mm-hmm. um, my really good friend is friends with the doctor or the woman that I get my Botox from mm-hmm. knows the woman who did Bella Hadid's nose. Mm-hmm. And her, like, cheek implants here, like, she, like, got this all removed. Mm. And she denies surgery. So it's, like, it's interesting to, like, hear about everyone who's gotten surgery done. Mm -hmm. She did it locally, obviously, in Beverly Hills Mm because she's from here. Um, But then it's, like, all these Instagram models and people always go to Mexico to get it done Mm. because it's cheaper. Mm -hmm. Dominican Republic... Which I feel like it's so sketchy because what mm-hmm. if something happened when you're yeah. overseas? Um, heard of a, some people doing it in Venezuela, mm. Turkey, mm. like just these random places. And mm-hmm. I feel like I, I feel scared. I don't know. Would you? Who's go, your would favorite? You go with someone like in I a went, foreign first of all, place? I'm only going to somebody that I've seen somebody else work on. Right. Like, and I'm only going after I see that person in person, after I feel it, after I see what it looks like, feels like, how it heals, all of that. If I ever mm-hmm. decide to get anything done like that, which is the chances are for me slim to none, but I'm not going to say that I wouldn't have a baby and then have a tummy tuck if I needed one. I'm yeah. not going to say that I wouldn't Mommy do that. makeover. You know, but I would really try to work for it first. But, you know, I might give me a mommy makeover. Who knows? Yeah. Um, but, um, like, 
I'm going to go. I'm going to go to who I only to who I see that work. That's yeah, it. I'm not I, going I off like of Instagram kill, photos. It's just yeah. too many. You can. Um, what do people do? Face tuning and stuff where you can like shrink body parts and make them bigger and oh, all yeah. of that. Oh yeah, no, it. I'm like the queen so, of face tune. I'm like, why uh-huh. get plastic surgery when I can just face tune? <laughs> because kidding. the thing is, it looks beautiful. Sometimes it looks beautiful in a picture, but it right. isn't really necessarily for like real life. Like you see it mm-hmm. in person, you're like, oh, I can see that. Yeah, and like going back to getting surgery overseas, I'd be too scared. What mm-hmm. if something went wrong? And you know, you're not covered in that country. Mm-hmm. Like a lot of yeah, a lot of it goes down in like Dominican or Mexico and stuff. Mm. That's scary. Who's For your me. favorite? Who's your favorite celebrity makeover? Like cosmetic surgery makeover? Like who's Who's is the best? Probably Bella Hadid, but she denies it. (laughs) Listen. (laughs) Or like Kim Kardashian. Kylie's Kylie's transformation is way bigger than Kim's transformation. Oh, for sure. Kylie has one of the most intriguing transformations. She she didn't just do her lips. In the business. She did her nose. She did her jaw. You can do the shaving. She did everything. Her Her eyes actually go up now, and they used to go like that. Oh, yeah. No, you can get the threading to make your eyes like up like that there's so many things you can do now it's yeah. fascinating she wants a trophy for changing um, a whole face best work via television <laughs> to me changing your whole face and looking like whoa okay uh, yeah okay she's a different person nothing against her we love her no Just I'm, saying, not, I'm not roasting she I'm looks, saying she has the, she has she the best looks work amazing. she's the best transformation oh of course yeah she looks amazing yeah, it's no secret. Like, we yeah. know. We know. <laughs> um, for sure. I love when somebody gets work or somebody just starts looking better. And you mm-hmm. have to really question it like a thousand times. Like, did this person or did they not? You know who's made a transformation that I cannot figure out for the life of me if she did anything to get it, but I just so love her newness? Who? Sierra. I haven't seen a recent picture of her. What? Lately. I have to look it up. The artist Sierra. Sierra, I, what's her new stuff? She Why just is, has is she this, relevant again? It might be love. It might be the happy family and the healthy health. I think because of her relationship, she's relevant again. Um, her husband plays football. Um, what? Russell Wilson, I believe his name is. Russell Wilson, okay. And she just looks, she just has this newness about her that I'm like, is that a treatment, sis? Or is it the love? I think it's the love. I think it's the inner, the innards. But what I do know is that she spent some time being good, good girlfriends with Kim Kardashian. Oh, well, then she and went you know to the doctor. Other, you know what other kind of <laughs> sneaky stuff? But I love her glow up. I absolutely love I, I stand for it. Um, you know what else? I see people do little oh, yeah, sneaky yeah. stuff now. She, okay, she got a nose job. People I'm not, do. Okay, I am not. Allegedly. A per, I am not a. Mm-hmm like a person who can judge people mm-hmm. on nose jobs but I can it take, seems like maybe she did I know that she got one because, because I'm so interested surgeries in don't ones. seem as invasive like in, like in, is that makeup is it, though? Is it an angle? No, is it, no, no. That's she just the looks nose dang job. good. I don't know if the wigs got better. I don't know what happened. She has a nose job. She contoured it. Mm-hmm. She looks amazing. Mm-hmm. Nothing against it. Mm-hmm. Like Good for you, girl. Mm. And she got the little Now slimming. they're doing little sneaky stuff where they'll just take a needle and be like, and they'll just like lift your nose up a oh, little no, bit. Yeah, and they, like, yeah, they can do that. So but this is a totally different shape. Yeah, she looks good, though. Yeah, she looks I've been, great. I've been trying to figure that out for the longest. Yeah, she looks amazing. Um, good for her. Yeah. But, um, so Sabrina, they, um, they fixed Sabrina's butt. Sammy got a no. Mm-hmm. And last but not least, moving right along, not to get caught off in our little tangent, but, you know, we have to talk about this stuff. It's, it's cool to talk about it, get different perspectives. Last but not least, we have a lady named Lisa. Mm-hmm. Lisa is an older woman. Looks like she might be, like, you know, late 40s-ish. What? Late, late 40s? Maybe early 50s? I don't think... Yeah. Late 40s? Maybe. Early <laughs> 50s. I really... I couldn't really she tell. She said a high school reunion. It couldn't have been our 20th. She couldn't have been no. 38. So maybe no some way. 40th She's reunion. She's like 50th reunion. 30 year <laughs> reunion. Kidding. I wrote it down. Look at me. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. She's not that old. Um, Yeah. She was teased when she was younger. She was bullied. And she 
claims that she has like extra neck, even though it's hard to kind of see it. Yeah, that's what I, I, you know what? Obviously, we believe her, but I was just saying to you before we ever filmed, I said, I don't see it. I don't see it. Why would someone bully her? Over that, it wasn't but. that bad, right? It's, it's just crazy. It it's crazy how bad, bullying but. affects people's like adult yeah, lives. I'm sad, and she had to wear a scarf and all this stuff. She wore all this stuff to hide her neck, what the kids called the pelican neck. Um, I'm sad. To the point, it got it got so bad that it obviously gave this woman low self esteem about her neck. Right. To the point that when her 30 year um, reunion comes around, she actually goes to get a facelift so that she isn't teased again at the 30th reunion. And uh-huh. I'm like, dang, this is deep. Because I don't want to like belittle her and the fact that she was bullied and it hurt her, but I'm right. like, 30 years later, you care this much about that? Just... She shouldn't have even gone to the Those reunion. Those kids traumatized her. Yeah, I... She's traumatized. I... You know, good for her for like getting sort of getting over it now. But I wouldn't even go to the high school reunion if people treated me like that. If you had to do that much, yeah, I no, probably wouldn't like have gone. I would be like, f this. Yeah, like who cares what they think? And I don't even want to go and show them. It's been like thirty years. That's crazy. Yeah, catch me on the gram. Catch me on Facebook. Yeah, <laughs> so I spent all this money to impress people that made me feel bad about myself. And then I was thinking, um, you know, now they're going to see her on the show. Mm-hmm. Saying, right. Which is, it's fine. Maybe I'm she on doesn't her side. Know. Maybe she doesn't know that you don't need schools now to get bullied. People can just do it uh, online. Just do it online. Just <laughs> open yourself up to a whole and bunch I, of people really talking about you. I pray to God no one bullies her after seeing this episode. That because would be she's foul. beautiful. And she didn't even have... Like a bad neck. Like when she first came on, I was like, it's fine. It wasn't bad. And then it's not that bad. Post surgery, what made it bad was that scar. I right. would have been mad about that scar too. What really made me mad was that when she went to go get it done, okay, we skipped some things. She went to go get it done. Right. She noticed she got this really big swelling right here. Yeah. She goes back. The doctor's like, oops, I left the stitches in. So, obviously, they didn't put her to sleep. They just gave her some sort of local anesthesia Mm -hmm. because she's awake to hear him say, oh, no, I hope I'm taking out the right set of stitches. I would freak out. Freak out. (laughs) I would be like, um, get my lawyer on the phone right now because I'm awake and I can hear you. Well, Um, yeah, she looked okay. Like, when she came into, you know, Dr. Debro and Natsev's office, she looked okay. It wasn't horrible. Like she didn't she have to wear like an average aging. Yeah, woman like, who... and she's wearing the scarves all the time. You don't have to wear that. Like she wasn't that bad. Those kids must have been really mean. Yeah, put the effect out like this as an adult woman. Yeah, pelican that's neck. Her daughter did have the same neck though. She did. She kind of did have the. We were going to talk neck. about this because I said. She should just get Kybella, mm-hmm. which is... Tell us, what is Kybella? I don't have it. Okay. I thought about getting it, and I, I don't need it. You said okay. that as well. But yeah, I told her she I doesn't have need a friend who um, has the same kind of neck, mm-hmm. and um, it's just, like, extra fat here. It gets rid of it, and it's just an injection, mm-hmm. or a couple injections you do along your neck, like mm-hmm. here, and it melts away the fat, mm-hmm. and it makes your... I'm pretty sure all the Kardashians have it because it they makes have, your neckline look beautiful. It's like this. so your whole face is so skinny mm-hmm. and your neck is so skinny, mm-hmm. and then your body obviously is whatever. So when it makes the fat melt, does it make your skin tight too, so that your uh, yeah. skin sticks to the yeah? The so muscular? that's because I'm always looking at all these celebrities. I'm like, mm-hmm. they gain weight, but like their skin and their face is it's like so tight. so tight, like this. And I'm like, if why I is their ever face develop, ever swollen? If I ever develop turkey neck, I'm getting that. <laughs> well, it's it's like fifteen hundred dollars to get. Oh, so a it's treatment like if low. I can actually chime in, I'm actually looked up something, and actually, believe it or not, there's something on Amazon that's about forty eight dollars or so. Does the same thing, similar to what the injections are, but it just pretty much just massages right I, here. It's no, I, I've right done now. the fat FX thing. I like guess well okay. So what so, is this thing? So I've done something similar to that. That mm-hmm. probably doesn't work because it's on Amazon. Uh-huh. <laughs> no offense, sorry. 
But um, I've done, it's okay, so fat FX is like what they do on your body. And then face FX is they zap you right here, like uh-huh. all along. Um, and you have to go in for like four treatments to do it. And I did it like a year ago. Honestly, it worked a little bit, but like I don't have the skinniest face like they do. Like I feel like they all do Kybella, so so it just shrinks extra. Yeah, that's you see. That's okay, Kybella. ladies. So now you know about Kybella. But, if you feel like you're under, because I know a lot of women we like struggle with this part of our mm-hmm. face dropping as we age, like this. Here, I'm not promoting it here. because I know. So the reason why I got the fat like FX thing to like zap it sort mm-hmm. of is because they said that. Kybella, long term, it might make your skin sag after like ten years, but they don't know anything, right? Like Not yet, <laughs> it so always I'm does. Like, it always does what I it's know. supposed to. Like the opposite. Like you hear like of depression medicine, and they're like, if this medicine makes you want to commit suicide, and it's like I thought it was supposed to stop me right? from wanting so to commit they, like, suicide. Don't know. Um, yeah, so why should so I take I'm it? Not, I'm not a. <laughs> I'm not promoting it for anyone watching. But it this is like an option. <laughs> this is Amazon, not us. We're just talking yeah. about what we're seeing. Um, but but yeah. if you want, if you want anything short term, do mm-hmm. fat FX or like um, face FX, like I did. Mm-hmm. I saw results, but it only lasted like six months or a year. But it was very so it's expensive. temporary. It's fifteen hundred dollars yeah. a pop, so it isn't like it, unattainable. It was six hundred US a pop, but I had to do it three times. So right. you guys do the math. This is the quote, qu- 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 what um, is it? It was called uh, Fat FX. And what is the other and one? Face FX. So if you do it here on your face, it's mm-hmm. called Face FX. Mm-hmm. If you do it on your body, you can do it on your arms or whatever, and that's Fat FX. Wow. But you okay. have to do it three times, and okay. you have to be really persistent with it. Um, but, yeah, I didn't. I don't know. I didn't do it after three times. Mm. I feel like it's faded away mm-hmm. after a year or so. Well, Dr. Dubrow and Dr. Nassif tell this woman that it could be a huge disaster. And she's like, let's roll with it. Yeah. <laughs> she's like, okay, well, we'll see. Yeah, exactly. She's 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 like, no, I don't want this. I'm, I'm willing to take the risk. She was really willing to take the risk that Sammy was not willing to take with her butt. Right. Um, and they do the work, and it looks like a rather simple um, procedure, given the, some of the things that we've seen them have to do. They cut her face around here like a standard. Um, oh, and her ear and everything. And so her ear was off. Yeah. And then her face was off a little bit from her neck to the side of her face was open. I couldn't watch. And then they stuck watch. a tube and they sucked out some extra fat. So they did a lipo. And then they put, they had the strings. They pulled it. Like, they did a mm-hmm. facelift, they essentially. They like, pulled her Her scar is gone. Tight. Her yeah. scar is gone. Yeah. Um, and honestly, she looks like the same person she looked like before she got it done. Right. With a little bit of a facelift. She still kind of has the same neck shape. Yeah. She does. She looked very similar. She looks better, but mm-hmm. it wasn't so drastic. It wasn't. It wasn't like she came out with, like, this plastic surgery looking face. You no, know what I mean? It like, it like looks rather was, natural. Yeah, it was natural. It wasn't too drastic. I guess that's good, but mm-hmm. I was expecting a little bit more. Snatch? Like, yeah, like. I don't know how you I wonder why they it. didn't tell her about what's the name of it? Uh fat FX. No, not fat FX, the uh, other body one. Body FX. No, the other one. The injections. Oh, Kybella. Yeah, why wouldn't they tell her about Kybella? I know all the names of all the surgery. We need this. This is necessary. Yeah, this is just no, me taking I, shots in the dark if you weren't here. But no, honestly, it's it's crazy because I, I I'm so interested in mm-hmm. it and I'm interested in like injections and mm-hmm. all that stuff, so I like know a bunch about it and I think because they want it to be plastic surgery, I don't mm-hmm. think they do injections. Mm. So, because mm-hmm. yeah, I I ask myself that sometimes, and yeah. I talked about it last episode. Um, because I've you know done Botox or whatever. I'm like, why can't they just do Botox and then do Kybella and like kind of fix it that way? Mm-hmm. But. I guess they just... Maybe we can get one of them to come in and talk to us. That would be really cool. And ask them why they don't yes, mention injections right here, because they else. do injections because I remember seeing uh, Dr. Nassif mm-hmm. doing injections on his ex-wife 
Beverly Hills, um, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. That little butt. That poor little butt. So he obviously does um, injections. Mm-hmm. So, well, that's pretty much sums sums up our uh, our experience this week with yeah. Fox. So let's go into our special segment. Um, well, news and gossip. Was it worth it? Oh, you have some news and gossip for us. Yeah, I do. All right. Well, let me not jump ahead of myself. TV news. Maddie has some news and gossip, you guys. Okay, guys. So, Jabrina. Mm-hmm. Am I saying it right? Not Sabrina. Mm-hmm. So, after she got her injections um, fixed by the two doctors, uh, she is saying that her injections actually shifted. Again? Yeah. So, she left in excruciating pain with an unsightly posterior when the implants rotated They rotated painfully inside her. She said, I want a little cute, nice toot butt and this big honk that I have. And not this big honk that I have back here. I think that's the previous surgery. No? Um, No. She said two weeks after the surgery started uh, swelling, it started to go down and you could see the implant kind of go on the side. It was like a crease. No, that's not that's not the doctor's work. That's what she said about the work she had. That's why she wanted it fixed. I don't think so because it it, that's what she was saying on the show. She said, "Remember, she said it started to go down, and then all of a sudden you can see the shape. You can actually see like the lining of the like she didn't have enough fat, and it was just too much booty, and so you could see the lining of the implant like through her skin of where it was just sitting on top, and so then she tried to get that fixed when it slipped, and they tried to like sew her skin up, and it didn't work." And that was really hanging. Okay, well, I thought that this was um, just before <laughs> Sorry, That's my bad. And no, I got, it's okay. I got sent this um, article, so I thought no, it was so just before. No, so what was before. she saying? What were some of the well, things that no, she was no, she highlighting? She said that um, Jabrina's surgery was a success, leaving her with a butt that made her uh, look like the Kardashians were jealous. Before my surgery, I had a saggy butt and implants were flipping. But now, thanks to Dr. DeBro, I'm finally free of my honk butt. And now I finally have that cute tube butt that I've always wanted. So, in the end, we know that she's happy. Yeah, she's happy. She's happy. And that's what it's all about. As long as she reaches a place where she's happy. Moving right along, now we are going to go to our special segment really quickly and just shout out whether we think it was worth it. Everything that they went through for their transformation was the end result worth it or not? Let's start with Sammy. Well, Sammy was overweight. She lost weight. She got boobs done. She's this hot vixen. She's this ninety point nineties porn star. She has everything she wants but a bigger butt. Um. Okay. Well, it's worth it for her because she got some free promotion. Mm-hmm. I guess because she wants to be famous. It mm-hmm. seems. Um, she could have gotten a breast reduction. I'm mm. not against big boobs, but mm. her friend's right. She didn't. Okay, so her friend wanted a bigger butt for her, mm-hmm. but I feel like she needs a tinier mm-hmm. boob job, maybe. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then she would have been good, but. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. I think if she puts it to work, like if she moves somewhere like Vegas or if she really becomes like this porn star that she right. like, wants to look like. Yeah. Then maybe it'll be worth it for her. Maybe mm-hmm. it gave her more sex appeal. Yeah, to each their own. To each their own. <laughs> Sabrina, was it worth it for her to come get her booty fixed? Jabrina. Sorry. Jabrina. Uh yeah. I I think, you know, we were debating it at the end when she was mm-hmm. like dancing and whatever. Mm-hmm. I think it it's not tip top shape, but mm-hmm. it's way better. So mm-hmm. I think it's good for her. I think it was good that she came on to the show. Mm-hmm. And last but not least, Lisa with the revised neck. It was, yeah. I it think was worth it. It was worth it. Yeah. But I don't think again. I don't think that Jabrina should have done anything from the jump. Yeah. I don't think it was worth it for Jabrina. No. It wasn't. Because she has a really, really cute body, and people sleep on, like, you can work out and get a butt. You can also eat. She yeah, she ruined it for herself. She should she should have just like taken everything out. Mm-hmm. I think and just like she should have squatted her way to the to the to our happy place. Yeah, yeah. yeah she kind of ruined it for herself. I think uh, with Lisa, I think 
think it was worth it for Lisa. It was worth it. She looks way better. Yeah. But there's... It she kind needs of Scott wasn't Bella, worth I it. think. <laughs> yeah, she needs Scott Bella. It kind yeah. of wasn't worth it because she ended up looking like her same beautiful self, but more so like she hadn't aged as much. Right. Yeah, they could have done something else. And it's weird. I feel like in the show, they don't want to suggest injections or mm-hmm. like stuff like that. Because maybe the show is like strictly based on mm-hmm. um, plastic surgery. Mm-hmm. So maybe they're like restricted on saying, hey, like we can like dissolve this fat with Kybella and right. stuff like that. So you never know. Right. But she looked better, but right. maybe something else could happen with her or like like as she better. ages again it's going to droop again yeah but it's tough she got what she she got her temporary fix and as long as she's feeling happy and she's feeling glowy and she says she's turning necks now and mm-hmm. cars and wrecks breaking necks and cars and wrecks <laughs> you go on here lisa from buttsville georgia you got your neck lift i'm not mad at you yeah she um, looks good yeah next week we're looking to more looking forward to more botch surgeries um, more um, interesting stories that we can dive yeah. into, more conversation that we can spin off of it. Um, and yeah, that's about it for this week of Botched, you guys. Until next week, I am your girl, Karma, and you can find me on Instagram at King underscore Karma underscore. And I am Maddie Pox. You can find me on Instagram at Maddie Pox. Thank you guys. And that's our show for today. Thank you guys for tuning in. We'll see you next week. Our founder, Kevin Undergaro, and me, Maria Menunos, would like to thank you for tuning in to After Buzz TV. Remember, we're not just the first, we're the biggest in the world, and we're the only destination for all your favorite TV shows. Whatever you crave, we've got it. So go to AfterBuzzTV.com and check out our lineup. Buzz you later. <laughs> the views expressed herein are those of the host only and do not necessarily reflect the views of After Buzz TV or its owners or principals.